jump right into this shit. Um, we are pace band day two. It got shortened from 80 miles to 69. Uh, pretty tight number. Uh, because of a big old crash. Uh, fortunately, uh, happened in the race before ours. Uh, but we're off. And we're eight miles into this race. And not much happened. Uh, you know, it's a little longer race. So stuff uh, takes a little bit longer to get going. Uh, but, you know, we're just firing off attacks. Everyone's kind of attacking. Um, don't really expect much to stick this early. I would expect something to go a little bit later in this race. Uh, but, you know, this race has stuck together the entire time and gone at 20 miles an hour plus, which is pretty fast for a road race. Um, so, yeah, but we're just cruising now. I'm just staying up front. I don't want to miss out on any moves. Uh, the goal today is ideally a field sprint or a very well represented break. Um, there's a couple riders up the road. Um, not too stressed because we are represented there pretty well. Guys did a good job covering. That's Matt Stevens. He fucking hammers it. Uh, and one of our riders is pretty quick to respond. A couple other guys as well. Uh, I got a couple more that are responding, and you know, just it's a hill, so it's a little, you know, dragging a little bit more. Colin goes, and I'm like, okay, I gotta fucking go now. Um, so crank it up a little bit, juice it. And now I'm rolling. If you guys haven't watched the day before this, watch that one. It's not to get views or anything up. I don't give a shit about that. It's more just, you know, kind of a little background in this race. Um, if you want that. And so we're like there almost. Uh, there's still that group up the road, but it's kind of separated apart. I don't really have an obligation to chase. I think up there I have at least three riders, so it's like whatever at this point. Um, I'm gonna rip around this corner. I love these sweeping bends, nice roads. Seriously, if there's a race you want to do, a Texas base bend is the race to do. That or next week I'll go. Lucas and them go, and I'm gonna fucking crank. As you can see, 1,600 watts there. Why would I do that so early? But, you know, I, I just kind of ride like an idiot sometimes. It's not bad, though. It's kind of fun. Um, he's charging up that hill a little faster than I want to go. But I think all the group is together. Looks like the front group wasn't super motivated, so they're not really going to go. Um, I'm just following up this one at my own pace. I'm not trying to jump on anybody's wheel here. But we are pretty much all together here. About to go in that final curve. I love a couple of my guys in front there. It's a little presty. Um, yeah, this is where the feed zone is, but feeding has not started, so people love to attack over the top of that. And rightly so, it's a good way to get a separation because it's pretty steep uphill and then it goes into his downhill into a hard corner and then you're at some rollers. Now this course is usually out of sight, out of mind. If a break is gone, they are gone. Um, and yeah, there's, it's very rare that it gets pulled back together, uh, but it can happen. So it's Dave Wanger, former roommate, former coach, former teammate, uh, solid dude all around. Now I'm definitely not stressed because they're right there. And it's, it's such a big group. And we have so many other more like motivated chasers, so we're just gonna rock this one. Man. Yeah, we just slow the hell up. There's Connor Sally, Shredder. Run for Butcher Box only person on his team here, but he's from Texas Bay. All right, now that just cut out a little bit there. Uh, that was just the actual camera. Colin and I don't know who this guy's name is. He just you know, I covered that attack. Oh, that was a quick cut, I should take that out, but I won't. Uh, so what happened? Right now we're going up the hill, and there's a break of 12 riders, three elbows riders in that break. Um, so, what I do is nothing for the, literally the last 40 fucking miles. Actually, well, I should say, yeah, about, yeah, about 40 miles. Break went at mile 25. Um, I felt no reason to be in it, um, although I should have been. Uh, that's uh, next time. You 
know, I should be in all breaks. I should just be everywhere at all places and times. Oh my God. Um, but we're going up this hill. And you know, 12th place field sprint. It's more of me, like there's no way we're really gonna get them. They had two minutes initially. Elevate and a few other unrepresented teams were driving the pace pretty hard. Uh, Super Squadron included, uh, old team of mine, um, a couple others, uh, to try and bring it back. And we got it within 40 seconds, but that was over 40 miles. So we definitely could have done a harder job. I almost thought maybe it would have been a good idea for us to chase it down, but I had no idea how my team was doing. Um, and I, we have three you know, strong riders up there. You know, just gotta have faith. If you don't have faith, fuck it. You know, what's the point of riding on a team um, if you can't trust everybody? <clears throat> so now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna wait for a field sprint. You know, after 60 something miles in my legs, net power for this one was like 286 for a little over two hours, two and a half hours, um, two hours and 40 minutes. I'm looking at the Strava thing. Um, I'm like, mm, I want a field sprint. You know, I want to see if I can beat everybody because at the end of the day, you know, whether or not I'm sprinting for first or sprinting out of the field for first from the field, it doesn't matter to me. It's a good way to test my legs, positioning and everything like that. So it's still early season and I really only give a fuck about crits. So, you know, why the fuck not just go for the field sprint? Uh, unless I'm like, well, no, I guess I have sprinted from like 50 wheels back just for fun, just to like prove a point. Uh, and that point will be proven. That's some foreshadowing for you. Um, so we are hauling 40 miles an hour. I love this stretch. It's really fun. Bike racing is pretty tight. Being able to go like 40 miles an hour and bump into people and, you know, just somehow survive. Um, it's pretty cool. Now there's a couple people I'm worried about in this sprint. You know, Devin Carroll, former teammate. That dude is a rocket. Uh, so definitely don't want him on my wheel. I don't think he is. And there's like one or two other people that might surprise me. Kyle Swanson, again, former teammate. He won yesterday. They went one-two uh, when I dropped my chain. Uh, there's a fun video of that. Um, you know, they're in here, but they've been working pretty hard. Now, what's happening here is Colin and Matt Stevens, more diesel riders, are up at the front, and they are um, driving it. Now, Andy, got to thank Andy. Otherwise, he'll just yell at me and be really annoying. He... Uh, thankfully drove the pace pretty hard to get them back so I could field sprint. Um, so they're back, and that's them. They're like, well, we're done. They don't want to field sprint. They're slow twitch muscles that, you know, are mainly used for gravel. I do yell at Zach here. Zach should have went a little harder. Uh, you know, it's whatever. I mean, the guy's definitely giving it a dig, uh, so we should have covered that if I'm trying to field sprint. But again, there's nothing on the line. It's like, mm, it's more just practice at this point and glory uh, a lot of United riders they you know they can potentially line it up again this finish is something where you for me I don't have to be third wheel going to that corner and you'll see why um, so I have a good wheel here pretty sure this is Swan Dog uh, Kyle Swanson and there's David Wanger Zach Stein more drilling. That kid, I think, is still up the road. Yeah, he's got like a decent gap. That's always fun to do. It's just like, can I escape? You know, will they let me go? That pursuit power. It's always fun to test out. I like doing it in crits, though. Like practice crits in the driveway. Um, this is also pretty tight down here. Um, so we're uh, we're going, you know, decently fast, faster than yesterday, which was nice. Yesterday we were like, it was like 23 miles an hour, so much. Cat 2 is with us today, it's just a P1 race, about 50 racers. Um, I don't know why I'm giving you guys tips, I race like an idiot sometimes. Um, I'm just realizing that, but you know, I guess I do well periodically, so. Here's Wanger, we're gonna fight over some wheels, but you know what, Wanger is former crit national champion. Uh, you know, if we both get on his side, you know, we're good. We're just bumping a little bit, this is, you know, just happens, you know, if you're comfortable with doing that and like trust the person next to you. If it was someone I didn't trust, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. I'm going to push you. I am heavy, but we're both, we're both bowling balls in a way. Uh, I let him in. He's got his teammate Dan there and I'm like, I will fight Dan. I'm like, I can't give up two wheels in a row. There's a video of this. And there's Justin, former teammate. Uh, and Andy covers that, which is solid. This is like the final little hill. 
um, kind of weeds people out, and you can see they're calling goes, and I'm like, shit, gotta make sure I'm up front, gotta get up there. It's just, this is not fast enough for me. I should be up there using more energy, but again, you'll understand why this finish I'm not super concerned about. If it was another race, like, if this was a crit, I would be, man, I'd be mad at myself right here. Um, Mark Nero, he's there, we're taking that inside line. Everybody's bumping, everybody bumping. Swan dog, okay, this is good. Again, hill finish, about a 21 second hill. I do have the KOM on it. I will take the KOM again for myself today. Um, always fun to do that. And so we are driving into this hill now. Uh, we are just flying. It's a little bit of a downhill with a little bit of a tailwind. Got another rider coming up here. Again, I'm pretty far back, but uh, Justin pulls off. I'd like, I just like to kind of spot my line through this because once I get going, it is fucking so I hit this corner and boom, I hit 2,000 watts here. It's actually my best five second power is like 1850. Now yep. get held up by a dude, not gonna let that worry, gonna pop off this guy, up, oh, they're too slow, I'm gonna go, mm, too slow, I wiggle through there. Kyle Swanson's got a good line, but you know what? I'm just going to blast through him. And we're just still driving, still driving, still driving. And I take it by a couple bike lengths. Um, so that was pretty fun. You know, that race is, is good. Uh, unfortunately, the team didn't do too well. We all, you know, podium is always required um, by my standards. So we got uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Um, and I got 12th, which, you know, there it's another week. But, you know, happy the legs are coming around, happy that I can sprint like that um, and kind of weed through people. So, yeah, that's it. That's all. Bye, everybody.